wonderful folk culture activities usually performed on the Spring Festival and the Lantern Festival among deafening sounds of gongs and drums such as two dragons frolicking with a pearl, carps dancing for the spring and auspicious plating presentations have been cancelled this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a pity for kids as they can't sit on their dad's shoulders to feel the festive atmosphere this year. However, two kindergartens in Huaidong County of Huaizhou will hold these folk activities this year. Little artists immerse themselves in these folk activities and take on leading roles in these folk performances. Kids work hard to move the long dragon in their hands. They swing it around or hold it up and down. Some wear carp costumes, holding small carp models. Although not skilled enough, they look adorable indeed. Uh, among the performances, the Phoenix Dance and Carp Dance, two ancient and unique folk customs, are intangible cultural heritage gems of Guangdong province. Passed down from generation to generation, they have become important traditional cultural icons and folk activities in Pinghai. Carp dancing is widely known for its variety, rich content and myriad changes. Carps in five colours wag their heads and tails in the hands of small artists. They are very funny and cute. National culture and tradition bloom at the school. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the auspicious plating presentation, the biggest event in Pinghai ancient city, is also being held in Pinghai Bright Sunshine Kindergarten this year. In previous years, on the 16th and 20th days of the first lunar month, the streets of Pinghai ancient city were bustling with people. Dozens of red tables were set up from the north gate and various delicacies and potted plants were put on plates for everyone to enjoy. It would not be until dawn the next day that people would collect their exhibits. During these activities, kids unconsciously experience and feel the charm of traditional Chinese culture. They respect folk customs more and love the traditional culture of the Chinese nation. Perhaps this is the best way to carry it forward and will become the most unforgettable memory of their hometown throughout their childhood.